Okay, so I saw this on Twitter. They said, who's the best singer-songwriter ever? So we got Taylor Swift, Sia, Adele, and Ed Sheeran. So out of all of these picks, I'm going to go Taylor Swift for me because I just feel like what she's been able to do in writing extremely relatable songs and just the amount of detail that she has with it. And she's run a lot of catchy songs as well. I gotta give it to her. I just think that she has some really great examples of songwriting. And then we also have songs such as Last Great American Dynasty where she's talking about Rebecca Harkness and then she's turning around and being like, actually, you know, it's about me. You know, I think that that's great. All Too Well is a fan favorite, though I think it's overrated. I would be remiss if I didn't include it. A lot of people hate on songs like Blank Space, Shake It Off, but I think that there are great examples of what Taylor can do just in terms of writing a great pop song. In terms of country, We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together is definitely a hit for her as well. Mine is very underrated. You have me in as well in terms of alternative, like I already mentioned, Last Great American Dynasty. But Cardigan is definitely a great you know moment for her in terms of songwriting i love cowboy like me as well so i think we have a lot of great pickings from taylor swift and so that's who i'm going to pick out of all these but if you're asking me who is the best singer songwriter ever then i do have a different pick so overall i would give it to mariah carey and the reason why is i feel like she's been very consistent in her songwriting and she has a lot of different examples in this i think underneath the stars and fourth of july are really great examples just in terms of the imagery that she can paint overall and i think that they were super well done and then i also love songs such as fantasy and heartbreaker kind of showing more so of her pop sensibilities and that she's able to write a great hit mind you she has 19 number one hits and 18 of those are songs that she wrote and she has 27 top 10 singles so we cannot ignore the numbers the numbers do not lie and she's been very prolific and successful as a songwriter in that respect you also have very personal moments for her such as butterfly she's saying spread your wings and prepare to fly for you have become a butterfly close my eyes which is kind of about her experience as a child and all that and she wrote the song over four years to have such a cohesive song that you wrote over time has to be studied so i'll definitely give her that pedals where she's kind of talking about her ex-husband and her siblings and just people in her life who wronged her and she's literally saying that you know they turned on a dime sold her out dutifully i gravitated towards the patriarch so young predictably you have a looking in and she says well here i am for all of them to bleed but they can't take my heart from me and they can't bring me to my knees they'll never know the real me devastating heartbreaking and the entire daydream album really is a great concept album and she's talking about fantasy you know i wish you were here for me but you know it's just you know i'm daydreaming basically and then you know she kind of has this entire very lush production all the way throughout the album the daydream melody is kind of reminding you this is just a fantasy this is just a daydream and then looking in kind of shows the painful reality of what she was going through because if you looked at her just on a surface level at the time you would have thought she's just a diva she's just this pop star and you would have thought that she never really went through that much in life but you know in all actuality she really struggled as a kid and she talks about in her book the experiences that you know her mother put her through and about how she did grow up poor and just she dealt with a lot at the hands of Tommy Mottola and the music industry at large and so I think that Mariah Carey has a lot of death that a lot of people don't really know about or acknowledge and you know portrait kind of in a sense is like a modern day looking into me because again it's saying like I'm a celebrity you would think that you know all these things about me but at the end of the day I still go home I still you know have emotions you know like anybody else so I think that that's a really great piece in terms of the songwriting so you have that there like I already mentioned the butterfly album but I think that that's her best just in terms of pure songwriting and then you also have her memoirs of an imperfect angel album which I think is really great just at, you know, having fun, making light records. And, you know, she's able to do it in a way where you're laughing along with her, you're having fun, it doesn't really make you cringe. And I think that that's a really important point as a songwriter. She's able to kind of get into the seductive, sexy lane in songs like Honey, Bliss, for example, and not everybody can do that. I just think that she has a very versatile pen. I think that she has a great sense of vocabulary. I think she has a great sense of vocal delivery and just the way that she puts words together in her songs and just makes a lot of hits but also a lot of deeply introspective songs is something to be noted and yeah a lot of people just think about her hit songs which are great don't get me wrong but I think that there's a lot to be shown in her deep cuts and just showing how smart that she is as a songwriter in terms of like breakdown which she had crazy bone wishbone on and she's kind of adapting to their cadence to their flow in that moment vision of love is her debut single which is a great moment for her as well emotions a song we know it we love it hero is something that's been really relatable for people overall can't take that away is also kind of in that same vein in a song that i personally prefer so yeah i know i talked about mariah carey for a long time but there's just so many different aspects in her songwriting that i wanted to tap into and there's more that i could even get into but that's going to be my pick for the best songwriter of all time let me know your thoughts down below in the comments